Right, we're going to talk a bit about diagnostics. So we're always interested in understanding our vehicles for various reasons. Um, we might be diagnosing a problem, we might be updating some of the software modules, um, and we have a, an array of stuff that we're pretty rubbish at using, but we're always trying to learn more. So I would thought I would share with you what our options are. And over the coming weeks and months and years, we will use all of these tools. But just if you're looking at that, um, and we will talk quickly about the benefits and what they can do. Um, let's start. We've just received this today. No, we haven't. We've just opened this today. We've had it sat there and it daunts us a little bit. So this is the genuine Bosch. Jaguar Land Rover DOIP VCI tool. So we've literally just opened this and we thought we'd share it with you before we unwrap it all. So what do you get in this tool? Now, I'll put the price online. I think I paid about £1,500 for it. You get a network cable, just looks like a standard internet cable. We get a USB cable, which I guess is going to enable us to plug the tool into a computer. We get the ODB2 port connector. So that is going to go, this is the main diagnostics cable. And that looks like it's going to plug into the tool. So this is the tool connection you're going to use. And then here we've, we've got a little Wi-Fi dongle. And then in here we have got the actual... So this is what the main dealers will use. Now, it's no good to you. So there's the connector there. It's no good to you really without the software. Now, there used to be some software called Pathfinder software, which Land Rover used. And there were some dodgy downloads you could get and use. Um, but Land Rover have gone away from that system to a cloud-based system called Topics Cloud. And we will do a video where we will download Topics Cloud and use this tool. So this is, and that will give you the same access to the same diagnostics and the same everything as the Land Rover main dealer in theory. But I don't have their skill, but we'll have all the gear and no idea. So we'll have a go with that. Right. So that is, so that is the... That's the top tree. You can do everything the proper official way that Land Rover want you to do it. Now, this is also, I believe, approved by Land Rover. Now, this is a cheaper alternative made by a UK company called uh, Diagnostics Associates. Now, I believe they actually do some work with Land Rover as well. These guys are pretty good. And this allows you to put it into your computer, uh, to put it into your, and plug it into your laptop. And if you're running the Topics Cloud on your laptop, you can, which is a subscription service, by the way, you have to pay for access to that Land Rover platform, which is all good. And I think that's correct. And I think that's the best way to do it. And the advantage of Topics Cloud is you actually access Land Rover's servers, as I understand it. Um, and if there's an updated software for one of your modules, you can download it from the Land Rover server and you're using all the Land Rover stuff and all the information about your car. And that's all good. And I think it also records that that's been updated on your car and stuff. So that's really good. Right, so there we go. Diagnostics Associates. Right, then we move into the world of aftermarket things. Now, this is our new IID tool. So this is a generation four. Now, the thing about the generation four IID tool is it's got this IP, this DOIP, and the IP there stands for internet protocol. So actually on these newer cars, all the modules, the engine ECU, the headlight ECU, a lot of them are interconnected. I think they call it FlexRay, but I'm going a little bit out of my knowledge, but it's basically uses internet protocol to connect to them. They've got IP addresses and everything. So this new IID tool, the generation four, has the IP built in, which wasn't there on the i3 because the whole architecture of the cars has changed. So they've had to keep up with that update. Now, this is run by an app. This plugs into your, and in many ways, it's the neater of the, it's the neater of these three because it's, it's done wirelessly. It's run off an app. You're not paying for processors or screens that you are with this because you're using your phone, which is a processor and a screen. But this, you're not using Land Rover software. So if you go in and do anything on this, this is all aftermarket software. But you do also have access to um, changing CCF files, updating um, ECUs to the latest level of software. That is available from Land Rover and the guys at Gap Diagnostics have got that. And so they can, you can update modules on your car and you can also do diagnosis. So this is a really good 
DIY compact friendly and we'll do more videos on that. Now, the last one is just my laptop here. Now, this is actually an ODB2 to IP um, cable that you can buy off the internet for 12 pounds. So you think, well, why do I need all this? And this literally just plugs straight in, but it's just a straight wire with connections onto the pins. There's no technology in this. But we have got some software from the Orient. Um, I don't even know how I found out about it. I think they wrote to me and we've installed on this. And this has enabled us to, to, to view the, the um, CCF files, read fault codes, and that is amazing, really. I don't know how they do it because that these are all quite expensive. This was just the downloaded bit of software. Now, I used to have a look at the CCF files on the STIG with this um, back in 2020. Now, this software then stopped working in 2023. They did something to bar the access of this. So it used to say not supported, can't get in through some gateway. But they've updated the software and it can now get in. Now, I'm a bit dubious to show too much of this. I'll show some screenshots of the sort of stuff we can do with that. Um, but that's not really a sort of sustainable. There's no support with this. Gap Diagnostics will give you support. I believe you can get the Land Rover support if you're signing into Topic Stoke. And actually Diagnostics Associates, where I've, when I've used this, they've been very helpful and they keep updating the software on the tool. So there are your options. That's what you can do. Let us know if you've had any experience with these tools. Let us know if you'd like to know more information about these and we'll try and do some videos as we work it out. We can sort of work it out together. Hope that was interesting.